What's up guys, my name is Stu, I'd like to welcome you all back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my Richmond match review for round 4 of the 2024 AFL season against St Kilda at Norwood Oval or whatever the stupid ground is in Gather Round. So it was a 7 point loss, the final score was 9-13-67 to 9-6-60. So um, we kicked the first 4 goals of the game in the first quarter and um, we kept St Kilda goals for quite a while so... Played pretty well, but um, the four line's not the best, so we struggled to score once when we got in, especially in the second quarter. Um, in the second quarter, no goals were scored for like most of the quarter um, until St Kilda kicked um, their first goal of the game, like late in the um, second quarter, and then we kicked um, the second goal of the quarter right on the halftime siren. Um, and Jade, because this is the only thing he's done all year, uh, <laughs> kicking that goal. Um, Right on half time, Jesus Christ, he's done nothing, Kaczynski. But yeah, so, I mean, we should have been further in front at that point. Um, we weren't able to put St. Kilda away. And in the third quarter, um, St. Kilda were always going to come back hard, and that's what they did. Um, obviously, with the help of uh, the umpires, um, as expected, the match we can start to come into play uh, in the second half, and which helped St. Kilda um, be able to get back into the game and... They took the lead. We did continue to fight hard throughout the whole game, but um, it wasn't quite enough um, in the end, so it just fell short. Uh, I mean, definitely could have um, kicked a goal late to um, make it less than a goal the margin and, you know, a really close finish. But, you know, Riley Sonsi is fucking garbage, continued to fuck up, um, fumbling the ball. I mean, he cost us that game for certain. Uh, I think you'll know who the spot of the week is already. But yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of Riley Sonsi um, after that performance. Uh, that was pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. You just, when the ball was near him, you just knew he was going to fuck something up, and he did every single time. Every single time. Well, look, at least uh, they were competitive. Um, a VFL team, um, you can't really expect to do much against, you know, a full strength AFL team. I mean, St. Kilda supporters should not be proud of that win. You know, you could barely beat a VFL team. A team absolutely depleted with injuries. I mean, it's pretty pathetic, especially when we don't have any key forwards other than Kaziski. And we all know how good Kaziski is. Like, come on. But yeah, I thought our defense um, was pretty good uh, for the most part. And obviously, there was a few plays that starred. I mean, our midfielders um, were solid. But yeah, let's just have a look at the stats. So, how do you suppose you get us? Uh, Dustin Martin got 30. Tim Tarana got 28. Uh, 24 each for Jack Ross and Jane Short. Uh, 21 each for Toby Nin Curtis and Daniel Rioli. Um, Shea Bolton had 19. Um, and 18 each for Tom Brown, Seth Campbell, and Jack Graham. So they were all right. I mean, Graham will probably be traded at the end of the year, so it's whatever. Um, I have a look at the goal kickers now. Shea Bolton kicked four goals, so he was outstanding. I mean, he kicked some really good goals as well, Shea Bolton. Um, he kept us in the game. He was, you know, we, we, we were never going to get much scoring throughout the game. So we needed someone to sort of step up. And yeah, Shea Bolden was able to step up when we didn't really have um, many scoring options. Uh, Montreal Junior kicked two and singles to Lafau, Sonsi and Kaczynski. All right, so I guess we'll do the votes uh, for this week. I'm going to be giving one vote to Dustin Martin, two votes to Toby Nankervis, who, you know, was fantastic as well, um, taking a lot of intercept marks as well in defense. And I'm going to be giving three votes, obviously, to Shea Bolton for his four goals. So check out the leaderboard now. I'm sure Shea Bolton is in the lead. Um, yeah, I'd be shocked if he isn't. But yeah, so, and as for Spud of the Week, it will obviously be Riley Sonsi um, because he lost the game for us right at the end. And yeah, um, pretty obvious, that one. So we have West Coast next week, so that one should be a pretty easy win because, you know, West Coast are a joke. It's regardless of whether we have a VFL team playing against their full-strength team, their full-strength team is still a joke, and our VFL team will kick their asses. So looking forward for a nice, easy, smashing win uh, next week. Hopefully the injuries to uh, Dow isn't too bad. He hurt his ankle. And also McAuliffe got injured as well, but he did come back on the ground like late in the game. So 
I think he's all right, so that's good. He did look pretty good on debut. Um, but anyway, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more like this. Be sure to subscribe to my main YouTube channel. It is called Studi. Link to that is in the description. Also, be sure to join my Discord server. It is called Australian Sports Community. If it's not in the description, it is. The link is in the About section of my uh, main channel. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social media accounts. I have Instagram, I have Twitter, and also have TikTok. The username for all of those is StudiYT. Um, if the links aren't in the description, just look them up in the search bar. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next video.